guys, we have some very special people to thank today. From Eagle, Colorado. Give me an L. A. W. S. O. N. And E. M. E. R. S. O. N. It's Lawson and Emerson Songer. Thank you, guys. And especially thank you for your email. It made us unbelievably happy. You have such great suggestions. We will do our best to track those stories down. In this episode, we have Lucia from Westchester and Josie, seven years old, from Maryland, performing with us. Thanks, guys. You're amazing. Remember, listeners, if you would like to perform with us, just go to buykids4kids.co and click on audition. And now for the story. This story is all about leather. Just for fun, here's a little tongue twister for you. Red leather, yellow leather. Now say it faster five times. Like this. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the story. The first moccasins. There was once a great chief of the plains of America who had very tender feet. Other mighty chiefs laughed at him. <laughs> Little chiefs only smiled as he hobbled past. <laughs> And though they did not dare to smile, the people of the tribe were also rather amused at the big chief's discomfort. It was the same for all of them. They had no horses and only bare feet, but luckily very few of them had tender feet. The medicine man, who was advisor to the chief of the tender feet, was afraid and troubled. Each time he was called before the frowning chief, he was asked, What are you going to do about my tender feet? Trembling with fear, the medicine man came up with a hurried plan. Though he knew that it was not the best answer to the chief's foot problem, it would have to do. The medicine man had some of the tribe's people weave a long, narrow mat of reeds. And when the big chief had to go anywhere, four braves unrolled the mat in front of him so that he walked in comfort. One day, after the braves had moved the mat again and again and again, making sure it was always in front of the chief, they carelessly unrolled the mat over a place where flint arrowheads had been chipped. The arrowheads disappeared long ago, but the razor-sharp chips remained. When the big chief's tender feet were wounded by these chips, he jumped up and screamed in pain. That night, the chief returned to the medicine man. He was not impressed. The poor medicine man was given an impossible task by the angry chief. Cover the whole earth with mats so thick that my feet will not suffer. If you fail, you will die when the moon is round. Now go! The frightened medicine man crept back to his tent. He did not wish to be put to death on the night of the full moon, but he could think of no way to avoid it. Suddenly, he saw the hide of deer skin, which one of the hunters had killed. Two people were busily scraping the hair from the hide, and an idea flashed into the medicine man's mind. 
He sent out every hunter in the tribe to catch as many deer as possible. Every waking hour was busy with the sound of everyone working together as quickly as they could, cutting, scraping and sewing the deer skins. On the day before the moon was round, the medicine man went to the chief and told him that he had covered as much of the earth as he could in so short a time. Hmm. The chief grumpily stood up and carefully walked on his tender feet to have a look. When he looked from the door of his tent, he saw many paths of skin stretching as far as the eye could see. Hmm. Long strips which could be moved from place to place connected the main leather paths. Even the chief thought that this time the magic of the medicine man had solved the problem of his tender feet. One day, as the big chief was walking along one of his smooth, tough leather paths, he saw an old friend of his walking ahead of him on the hard earth on one side of the chief's pathway. Hey! She glanced back when she heard his footsteps on the deerskin pathway and seemed to smile. Hello, old friend. The chief ran off to catch up with her, hey, his here. eyes fixed on her back. And so his feet strayed from the narrow path and he landed in a bunch of needle-sharp cactus thorns. The woman ran for her life when she heard the hideous howls of the chief. She thought she was being attacked by a pack of wildcats. Two suns later, when the chief was calm enough to speak again, he had his medicine man brought before him and told the unhappy man that next day, when the sun was high, he would be sent once and for all to his death. That night, the medicine man climbed to the top of a high hill in search of advice from friendly spirits on how to cover the entire earth with leather. He slept, and in a dream he saw a vision. In this vision, he saw the answer to his problem. He woke up with rain drenching his face. A storm had begun. Amid flashes of lightning, he sprinted down the steep hillside. He often stumbled and fell, scratching and scraping his feet on jagged rocks and thorns. But he did not stop until he was safely inside his tent. He worked all night on his mysterious plan. The next day, the warriors who were going to escort him to his death came just before noon. He was surrounded by guards armed with fearsome-looking tomahawk axes. He was clutching close to his heart something tightly rolled in a piece of deerskin. His cheerful smile surprised those who saw him pass. He is very brave said the people of the tribe in awe. The big chief was waiting just outside his lodge. Before the medicine man could be led away, he asked for permission to say a few words to the chief. Speak, said the chief, sorry to lose a clever medicine man who was very good at most kinds of magic. Even the chief knew that covering the entire earth with leather was an impossible task. The medicine man quickly knelt beside the chief, unrolled the two objects, which he took from his bundle and slipped one of them on each foot of the chief. The chief seemed to be wearing a pair of bear's hairless feet instead of bare feet. And he was puzzled at first as he looked at the deer skin shoes also called moccasins, that his medicine man had cleverly made. Big Chief! 
The medicine man exclaimed joyfully, I have found the way to cover the earth with leather for you, oh chief. From now on, the earth will always be covered with leather. And so the first pair of shoes was invented. Hey guys, if you like this episode, please share it with your friends and family. It is one of the best ways to support BKFK Storytime.